We attend OTK game day? No. But I will poach the people that come into town <laughs> to teach them about animals. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, will Caleb get to come this time? Yes. Will Alvaeus ever be open to tours private or public? No. Alvaeus is very much closed right now. Um, why is your delay so big? Because I have terrible internet and I'm running off a server right now different meme yeah my 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 genuine for that just so that you guys know i haven't like explicitly said it i think since i since i've come back but i think it's pretty explicitly said now um i will start by saying the people that i used to stream with i still like like i, I like you know i'm i'm chill with everybody it's not like i had a, i had falling outs left and right um but i do think that the platform is imploding and i think uh we're all on our way to the end and i would like to save myself <laughs> it's like a very blatant like i'm just trying to i got my own little ice block here and i'm just going to stay afloat and watch everybody else drown to be honest i'm not trying to hop on anybody else's ice i'm good i'm <laughs> I'm just gonna be over here, uh, with my arc of animals. At least you're honest. Ah, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but it's true. What do you mean by imploding? Imploding means exploding from within. You know? That's what's happening. It's all because of Hassan. <laughs> anyway. Um... What would it take to go on an e-date with you? <laughs> Shut up! I have a question. Apparently today's the day to ask it. I don't know- <laughs> I don't know what I'm on today, but it's fine. Um, I would consider it XL, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Not for a long time, I really love Twitch. I really love being on Twitch, I love the community on Twitch. Which is shocking to say. Um, I, I love, uh... I love being on Twitch. Um, I like streaming on Twitch, so I'd, I'd like to stay here, but... Who knows? It's going downhill, so. Why do you have a gun? Why does anybody have a gun? Yay, Johnny! Will you ever make any more plushies? I, uh, at this point in my life, would rather try to swallow a fork whole than make another plushie. I'm gonna be honest, I've put a lot of hours into plushies and I don't. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to make any more, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't. I'm sorry. She didn't say no, though. I'm not gonna make any plushies anytime soon. I have not heard anything about Binky Bonky. Did you talk about Ohio? Oh, true. Okay. Um, Ohio. So there was a trail derain a, a trail de a trail derain a a train derailment. There was a a train derailment, a train derailed in Ohio uh, with biohazardous waste on board. I don't. I looked up the names of the chemicals, but it didn't really matter. Um, because I don't know what the chemicals are, but the problem is they went into the- is it just called the Ohio River or was it, was it a different river? What is the river called? Vinyl chloride, um, all the chemicals when the- when the train derailed, uh, yeah, were- were dumped and then they're flammable and so then there was a fire and the chemicals went into the Ohio River which is a huge problem because it's a source of drinking water for a lot of people. And also it's like, it's obviously, we have no idea what the effect is going to be on wildlife, but it's going to be really bad. The chemicals react in the atmosphere to form acid rains. Excellent. Great news. Uh, it set off a fire. Yeah. Um, got into the water table. Fish are dying. Uh, people are evacuated. People can't go back to their homes. Uh, not just because of the water, but because they're having to test uh, the air in everybody's home to make sure that they're not gonna get, not gonna have, like, a respiratory problem and die because of the chemicals that were dumped. Uh, it is, like, really, really bad. And because it's in the river, the Ohio River, I mean, you guys, massive, right? Like, it's not just Ohio. Um, this is, we're looking at something like this. So, it's really bad and connects the Mississippi, didn't know that one, but that, that makes sense. Um, I have not seen a statement from the EPA or, uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife or Biden. Uh, I, I don't know that people know what to say yet. Um, so, 
I'm kind of waiting um, on a big statement to come out uh, in regards to this whole situation to know what to do. Uh, and if there's something like an, an actionable thing that can be done, like we'll talk about it. Uh, but right now, I don't, I don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. I certainly don't know what to do. Um, so we'll continue to talk about it as we watch, as we watch it unfold, um, because it's it's really bad. It's going to be really really bad. Yeah, the news is too busy talking about balloons. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, so so that's the only update I have. I, my, my update really is that, like, I wish I knew more about it. I don't know all that much about it, and I'm waiting to, to learn more. I think like everybody else. But but I'll, I'll try to keep updated on it and then relay to you. Cool. Any plans in the future for new ambassadors at Oveas? We did do a field trip this morning, um, and we will talk about that soon because... Yes, every time I think that Alveus is like, all right, we are good on our ambassador lineup, on our educational lineup. It's, you know, we're like calming down. Um, we're, we're developing a reputation as a sanctuary. And that means that people contact you when uh, animals need it now. <laughs> you know, that's why like we weren't really ready for the marmosets, but they were like, they got to go somewhere, you know. Um, and, and so, yeah, we're, we're having more of more of that, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We need to have a whole staff meeting today to talk about it. We haven't even had the chance to talk, really. Um, so, yeah, it's not a polar bear. Are you going to be hiring more people for Alveus? Uh, not externally, um, but Turka has been doing a lot of hours for Alveus, and it's been really helpful. Um, yeah, we need, a lot of, we need a lot of work. We need a lot of help. I told you guys, Sammy left me a message, and she was like... Um, I have 18 more emu eggs. <laughs> She's like, I have 18 more emu eggs. Uh, do you want more? <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> but they were hatching out. Like I was FaceTiming Sammy. They're hatching out on, uh, don't look at me in the corner. Don't worry about that. But they're hatching out on Valentine's Day. So two years after Stompy's birthday. Um, and uh, it was really cute. And Sammy streamed it um, on Instagram and it's cool. The problem, I would love, I love baby emus, right? And it'd be so cute to have another, like, beep, 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 emu. Um, but the problem is it would be fine in its inside phase when it was, like, this big and, like, this big or whatever. Um, and, but then Stompy grew really slow. Remember how Stompy was, like, short and then, like, up to here? Like, it, it couldn't go into the pasture with Stompy until it was a full-grown emu. So I don't know where it would go for, like, almost a whole year. Um, and that's just not worth, and it's, it's not worth, like, doing all that logistically and trying to make something work for the same ambassador. And these ones are fine, too. I mean, they, they have somewhere to go. It's not, like, an emergency situation. So we won't be getting more emus. Um, but, and Stompy does not need, uh, Stompy would try to kill it, for sure. Uh, the questions are just in chat. I don't have the doc open. Yeah, um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking for that. But, tiny house at night, dude. I have... I have a mouse and two ferrets, two marmosets, and I'm about to have two dogs in this tiny house. It's 390 square feet. I can't put an emu in here, too. Stompy has a Sarah. True. Two more goats. No! The next animal quest, I think, is going to be roaches, but it's not going to be until next month. Do you miss rehabbing? Interesting question. Do I miss rehabilitating wildlife? Uh, my answer is complicated. Um, I think as a person... Yes, I miss having the, the hands-on uh, rehab process with wildlife. I miss doing releases. It was very rewarding, personally. But I also recognize that with the platform that I have, it makes more sense to spend my time giving a voice to species that need it, as opposed to species that are extremely common and of least concern. And while it makes a world of difference to that one individual, um, but doesn't really make a difference to the world to, to do rehab, uh, for the platform that I have, it makes more sense to to not focus on individual animals and focus on species as a whole. So my answer is personally yes, but from a career standpoint, no. Did I watch the Rihanna halftime show? Yes, I was a little bit, I was a little bit underwhelmed, but the woman's pregnant, so I say I was underwhelmed, and she must have been like sixty feet in the air on a platform. So like I don't know what I want from her. Thank you.